Welcome to this new video in which we're going to deal with optimization in multivariable calculus. Here we will optimize two functions without constraints. So we're going to use the second derivative test to find the local extrema of each function below. So let's start with the first one. f of xy equals x squared plus 2y squared minus 12xy. Remember that the first step in the second derivative test is finding the critical points. First of all, let's find the critical points for this function. And to find the critical points, you have to compute the first order partial derivatives and set them to zero. So let's compute fx of x and y, which is equal in this case to 2x minus 12y. We compute also f y of x and y, which is equal to 8y cubed minus 12x. And I said for critical points, the two first order partial derivatives are equal to zero. So we have a system of two equations, two variables. We have to solve it. So let's solve the system by substitution. So the first equation gives 2x equals 12y, which means that x equals 6y. And we're going to substitute the x in the second equation by 6y. So it comes that we have 8y cubed minus 12 times 6y, which is 72y equals 0. So our system is equivalent to the new system, x equals 6y. And here, to solve the second equation, we will first put the 8y as a factor. So 8y factor of y squared minus 9 equals 0. The second equation can be solved by setting the 8y equals 0 or the y squared minus 9 equals 0. If you have a product of two quantities equals 0, one of them at least is equal to 0. So here, we're going to write that x equals 6y, 8y equals 0, or y squared minus 9 equals 0, which is equivalent to x equals 6y, 8y equals 0 is equivalent to y equals 0, or here y squared minus 9 equals 0 is equivalent to y squared equals 9, which means that the y is equal to negative 3 or 3. So we have three possible values for y, to which correspond three possible values for x. So we have three critical points, and we're going to list them. So critical points in these, in this case, are critical points. Be careful, the values found here are the values of y. So they will come in the second position in your pairs. Okay? So for y equals 0, the x is equal to 6y equals also 0. For y equals negative 3, the x is equal to negative 18. And the third point is for y equals 3, the x is equal to 18. So your three critical points are 0, 0, negative 18, negative 3, and 18, 3. Now, we're going to make the second derivative test, which is the second step in the second derivative test process. So here, we're going to do the classification of these, these three critical points. So classification means second derivative test to classify new points. And here we need the second order partial derivatives for the classification, so second derivative test. Now, we have to compute the fxx of x and y, the fxy of x and y, and the f 
y, y of x, and y. The first quantity is 2. The second quantity is negative 12. Remember that you have the first order partial derivatives. Use them to find the second order partial derivatives. And for the third quantity here, f, y, y, you wanna, you're going to find 24 y squared. So the first quantity is called a, the second quantity is called b, and the third quantity is called c in this form. Okay. Now, I will classify my points using the second derivative test. So I will draw a table in which I will put the three quantities a, b, c, and I will co compute a, c minus b squared to be able to classify my points. So I will compute AC minus B squared here, and then I will compute. So here I will put the critical points. The A, B, so C, and then I will compute AC minus B squared, then I will compute. The three critical points are the zero, zero, negative 18, negative 3, and 18, 3. Now, let's compute. So, the A is constant. It doesn't depend on your critical point. So, let's fill the A column here, 2, 2, 2. The B is also constant, it's negative 12. And the C is 24 y squared. For the first point, the y is zero, so the C is zero. For the second point, the, the y is negative three, so it gives 216, okay? And for the third point, it's also three, it gives 216. Now we compute AC minus B squared. For the first point, A times C is zero minus negative 12 squared, it's negative 154. For the second point, it's two times 216 minus negative 12 squared, it gives 288. And for the third point, it's also 288. Now you will make your conclusion using the second derivative test. So it depends on the sign of AC minus B squared. Here, the AC minus B squared is negative. So the first point is subtle. In this case, you have subtle point. Now, for the second point, the AC minus B squared is positive. So you have either a minimum or a maximum depending on the sign of A. Here, the A is positive. So we're going to conclude that AC minus B squared is positive and A is positive. So your point is a local minimum. Okay, in this case, it's a local minimum. If you have AC minus B squared greater than zero and A less than zero, it's a local maximum. Okay, so here it's a local minimum. Also, for the third point, you have AC minus B squared positive, and A is positive, so it's a local minimum. A greater than zero, so your point here is a local minimum. So in our case, we have three critical points. One of them is a subtle point, and the two other points are local minimum. Now, let's move to the second function, which is f of x, y equals exponential x, y. We start by finding the critical points. We compute the first order partial derivatives f, x, x, and y. Here, it's an exponential of x, y. So the f, x is equal to y exponential x, y. We set it equal to zero. f, y of x, y is equal to x exponential x, y. 
you set it also equal to zero. Since the exponential x, y here, this quantity is always greater than zero. So the only solution for this system is y equals zero for the first equation and x equals zero from the second equation. So the system is very easy to solve. You have just one critical point, which is zero, zero. So one critical point. which is zero, zero. So you have to make the second derivative test for this critical point. So let's classify, let's classify it. So second step, second derivative test. We'll compute the three quantities of x, x, of x and y, which is equal, if this is f x, at x, x will be equal to y squared exponential x, y. If you have a question about the partial derivatives, please refer to the previous videos in which I, ex I explained how to compute the partial derivatives. So the second partial derivative is at x, y. And here you have a product of two functions of y. So we're going to use the product rule and you find that it's exponential xy plus xy exponential xy. The third quantity to compute is fyy of xy, which is equal to x squared exponential xy. So this is a. B and C. Now, for the point zero, zero, these three quantities, so for the point zero, zero, these three quantities, you have A equals zero. B, if you compute B here, it means you substitute the X by zero and the Y by zero, you will find that it's exponential zero, which is one plus zero. So B equals one. And the C is equal to zero also. Okay. Now you compute AC minus B squared, which is equal to zero minus one squared, negative one. This quantity is negative, so the zero zero is subtle point. Okay, so zero zero is the subtle point. It means that it can be seen either as a maximum or a minimum. We are done with this activity. So here we showed how to perform a, the second derivative test to find the local extrema of a multivariable function. See you in the next video.